Hello and welcome to this video demo covering how to deploy a Docker web app to Evernote. Here we will be uploading our website to an Evernote instance with a Docker container. To complete the deployment, I'll first need Docker to be installed and running and have a Docker Hub account. I'll write Docker login in the terminal and enter the account and password. In the base folder, create a file called Docker file. Then add this code to the file included in the video description. Here we create the shell user, which we will run the web server from. Here we are creating the public folder in the home folder. Here we are copying the files from your working computer to your home folder in the Docker container. Our entry point is the first thing the container will do when it's deployed. This will run the start.sh script. Next, create a file in the base folder called start.sh. Then add this code, also included in the video description. Here you can see that we start index.js with node. Now it's time to deploy our app to Docker Hub. We will later deploy that Docker container to Evernote. Make sure that you are in your base folder and write the following. Once the container is built, we will push it to Docker Hub with this command. When finished, our app is now available on Docker Hub and it's ready to be pushed to Evernote. You can also deploy apps to the Evernode network with install scripts, but that's for another video. To deploy this container to Evernode, we need to install evdevkit. Write npm i evdevkit-g. When you deploy to an Evernode instance, you need to set your developer wallet secret seed and your Evernode private key. To generate an Evernode private key, just write evdevkit keygen. This private key is intended to be a way for you to communicate with your Evernote instance. Now we will set up the environment variables. One is the secret seed of the developer wallet with EverTokens. The second is the private key we just generated. On Mac or Linux, you'll use the export command. On Windows PowerShell, you'll use env. Here I'm showing how to do this on a Mac and Linux. Next, we'll select an Evernote host to deploy to. Open up a web browser and log on to zahow.xrplwin.com slash Evernode. Here, I'll select an active node. The computing resources and the price are displayed here. Next, I'll copy the address. Then, back in the terminal, I'll write evdevkit acquire-i followed by your Docker Hub username slash website colon latest dash M one, followed by the R address of the host I just selected. Dash M means moments, and one moment is one hour. Once it's deployed, here we can see the WebSocket port that you will use when communicating with the Evernode consensus engine. Our web server is on the GPT CP1 port, and you also have a GPT CP2 port as the next port in line. Then open your web browser, go to https colon slash slash the domain of the host colon 3652x, where x is the number of your assigned port, for example, 36525, 36527, or 36529, depending on what port you get delegated. You can also use your own domain and hide the port in the web address, but that's for another video. And congratulations, your web app is now deployed to Evernode, viewable here. As a bonus, we can go to Grok and ask him to generate a cool game in a single HTML page. We can copy that code and paste it into the index.html file. Then we can do a Docker build. A Docker image push. And deploy it to an Evernote host once again. Back in the web browser, the HTML game will show up on Evernote.
So that will conclude this video on how to deploy a web app on Evernode. Thanks for watching.